Hey guys, it's Joseph and I want to show you how to ride a scooter for the first time. There are a lot of videos already about this but somebody requested it specifically for the majesty. So there are a few things that you want to do before you actually try this. One is you want to know how to ride a bike and really good. The second is you want to find a, a giant open area where there's not very much stuff that you can run into. And third is you want to get motorcycle gear. So I have my gloves, my jacket, which has armor, and uh, I have regular jeans, but what you can do is you can buy some off-road knee guards and just put it underneath your jeans if you can't um, afford armor jeans, I guess. And that's what I'm doing right now just to show you guys. So I have armor right here at my knees. Okay, and on the Majesty specifically, you're gonna wanna put it on the softest setting because that actually makes the seat the lowest height it can go. Um, another thing that you'll wanna do is, if you have a friend that rides motorcycles, ask them to bring it here for you so you don't uh, crash on the way to the parking lot. Another thing that would make this ideal is, you have very low fuel, so that makes the, bi the bike as light as it can be. Um, okay, most scooters only have center stands, so I'm going to show you how to take it off the center stand, especially a big heavy bike like this one. So you're going to get a very firm grip with your left hand, and then just shove it forward. You need a firm grip so it doesn't fall away from you. If it's on the kickstand, you just kick it back, and you're ready to get on. First I want to go over a few controls. Um, basically, left brake is uh, the rear brake, right brake, this is the front brake. How you use them is you pull them both simultaneously. This is the throttle, this is the kill switch. So right now it's ready to start, but if the engine is running you can kill it by going like that. Okay, and really that's the main things that you need to focus on now. The most important thing, I guess, is to know that the throttle, uh, it's like a gas pedal. You give it a gas by pulling it like this towards you. That's the most important thing because some people don't know that. But this has to, before you actually try and ride, this has to be like second nature to you. That twisting it towards you gives it gas. So make sure you know that point. How you're going to want to start, if you can, is both feet um, on the ground. So your, your bike's already centered. Let me see. I guess if you're too short to reach with both feet, just lean on one foot. Maybe have somebody on the other side if so you don't fall over on your first time trying to just hold it up with one foot. If, you're, if your legs aren't long enough, then it's going to be pretty hard to learn how to stop because you're going to have to stop and then fall on your on your one leg. But okay, let's let's just go. Turn it on like that. Hold, you hold. I like to hold the rear brake and then this is the starter button. Don't touch the throttle, okay? Unlike a car, you don't have to put it into into drive. It's basically it's like in neutral right now, but to put it into drive, all you do is you twist the throttle backward, and then that's going to give it gas. My suggestion would be to slowly give it gas. You can hear the engine rev, and then when it when you feel like it's it wants to start moving, give it make like a jump, like give it more gas, like that. Okay, so now you're going to be like, holy crap, I'm r actually riding. So you're going to want to. The thing about riding is that it's actually easy to really easy to balance when you're actually going like over 10 miles per hour. The hardest part and the part when you're most likely to fall, I think, is when you're going really slow. So that's why I said to do that. So that's how I would start is give it gas until you feel like it's about to go. And then you give it, make like a jump, give it more pull your feet up and the, the whole time you're doing this focus on what I mean uh, be looking straight ahead don't be looking at your hands or anything because that that'll if when you're looking straight ahead that's gonna help you go straight <laughs> okay now to stop 
you're gonna pull in the both brakes simultaneously very gradually and then right when you feel like you're losing balance pull pull them in all the way like a little faster and then be ready to catch yourself when you stop so I'll do now I'll do all of this looking down at my feet okay so I'm revving the engine until it's ready to go now I give it like a jump in gas here let me look at my hand while I do that so about 4,000 rpms I guess and then when I'm braking uh, I'll brake here braking 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 gradually then pull pull them in hard and then be ready to catch yourself practice starting and stopping on a straightaway and eventually you'll get it down if you're really good at riding bikes then I feel like the the turning part will be like instinctive to you how you make like a, a slow turn like that like this is to me what I, how I feel like I'm doing it is I'm leaning a tiny bit my body weight to the direction I want to go and then I guide the handlebars to the exact spot where I want to go so I'm like under 10 miles per hour I lean a tiny bit and then I guide with my handlebars uh, the same thing for a very slow left turn things are different though when uh, you're going like over 10 I think if I push on the right handlebar the bike will go right yeah so that's called uh, counter steering I don't really want to get into the details but around 10 miles per hour and anything faster the direction that you push is the direction you're gonna go watch I just have pushing capabilities right now on my right hand so I'm gonna push and I'm gonna right I'm gonna push right and I'm, my bike's gonna go right and same thing with the left when you push on the left you're gonna go left so uh, that's pretty much all there is to steering the rest is just gonna be up to you practicing and practicing until you get a feel for your bike take it slow like the very first week actually maybe don't even go on the streets for like a week see if you can come to a parking lot and practice and then eventually you'll feel confident enough and you can go out onto the streets okay now I'm using my turning signal even though there are no cars around here just because it's habit but you want to get really good at learning how to uh, use your turning signal which on a motorcycle just means turn it off after you make the turn on scooters and motorcycles you have to turn off the the turning signal by yourself it's not going to turn off for you any questions put it in the comment section like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and check out my other videos soon you'll be a pro dude it's easy it says 10 but let's see Woo that was fun all right talk to you guys later